Hello, I'm Dick Sigmund with Janet Trenchers. I was a dog fence dealer for nine years from 1997 into 2006. During this time, my wife Jan and I installed hundreds of fences in central Wisconsin. Being a machine builder by trade, it wasn't long before I was convinced that a rototiller is great in the garden. Sod cutters are good for cutting sod, and ditch machines are clumsy as heck. I began working on a prototype in 2002 and sold our first JANIC production model 1300 in May of 2004. In the many months since then, we have continued to make improvements in design and production methods. We are sure the machines shown in these next few clips represent the state of the art in trenching equipment for the shallow depth wire installation. The Janik 1500 is the machine that we recommend for the full-time professional installer in most soil conditions. Here we see Dick operating the 1500. He's putting wire five and a half inches deep into the ground in average soil conditions at a comfortable walk. The machine is doing all the work. Here's Dick again with the 1500 in the hard packed dirt of a horse pasture. The articulated toolbar makes a tight S turn with ease. You can see we're still putting wire in at its maximum depth of 5.5 inches. Here, the 1500 tackles a gravel driveway, again at max depth. The 3 inch pit run, just 2 inches below the surface, is not a challenge for the Janik. With a blade that has carbide tipped, mining grade teeth, and the power to back it up, we'll either kick rocks out of the trench, as we see here, or if need be, cut right through them. Since the machine drive and the blade drive aren't married, the Janik still does all the work. The Janik handlebars can swing 50 degrees to either side of center and lock into five different working positions. Combine that with a standard 26-inch wheelbase, the side hills are no problem. We're still bearing wire at five and a half inches, and Dick still hasn't broken a sweat. Here's Dick running the 1800 and putting wire in at its maximum depth of six inches. For ease of turning, the 1500 and 1800 are equipped with a differential. But if the going gets tough, just engage the differential lock and keep on going. Here's Miranda. She weighs only 100 pounds, but has no problem whatsoever putting wire in at 5 inches up a small hill and maneuvering the Janik 1100 through an easy ester. The Janik is designed to be easy to handle, balance, and maneuver for people of any size.
This is Brian on a steep hill with the Janik 1100. He doesn't have to engage a differential lock, as the 1100 doesn't have a differential. But with both wheels working and the blade switched to forward rotate, all he has to do is follow it up the hill.